I belong with the misfits we have been a partner to the communities in Northeast Iowa, fulfilling the energy needs of our neighbors and friends. A good partner knows your business and understands your needs. Providing the highest level of service possible is our mission. Our customers count on us to reliably and safely deliver the fuel products they need to keep their productivity high whenever the need arises. We are continuously improving our capabilities by adding storage, improving the fleet, or utilizing new technology. We've put together a well-rounded team of specialists who welcome the opportunity to answer your questions and assist your plans. These efforts result in a better experience for our customers. At Johnson Oil, we're in business to be partners in your success. We are currently in our 10th year of operations here at Bet Roofing. One of the most exciting things about owning a business has been just seeing us grow over the course of that decade, um, from starting out again pretty small to what we're able to accomplish um, in the amount of square footage of roof we put on. Lock. Lock. So this year will be our first year of being full-time roofing. Lock. So kind of what our plan is, is to keep on doing what we're doing right now, but obviously we want to expand and grow upon the business and probably branch out into different communities in North Iowa. One of the things that we really pride ourselves on at BET Roofing is the people that sell you your roof, the people that give you estimates are the ones that actually are on the job site every single day, um, putting shingles on your roof, looking over projects, and just making sure that things are held to the highest quality that you would expect for your home. We know that roofing can be a pretty crucial part to protecting your house from the elements, so we make sure to be as responsive as possible to get out to your house. And if we need to cover something up short term, but we try to also make a priority of, of as contact, our customers contact us and reach out to us, getting them on the list and moving forward as soon as possible. I enjoy the manual labor of it. Some people don't enjoy that, but I'm one of those people that do. And uh, I enjoy the work, it's very fulfilling and you get to see what you accomplished every day and working with the people is probably 
one of the biggest things that I enjoy too. It's fun to seeing people satisfied with the work you do. One of my favorite parts about roofing is seeing the physical progress you make on the job site each day. You get a lot of satisfaction from driving by properties you've done in the past and seeing um, what you've done and, and being proud of what you're able to accomplish. Definitely is a lot of hard work, but um, it's definitely worth it in the end as well. Sometimes I worry. Sometimes I'm scared. Sometimes I'm overwhelmed. Sometimes I cry. And that's okay, because sometimes is not all the time. It will be okay. You got this. You got this. You got this. <laughs> well, hello, hello, and... Was that on well, the camera? Oh, uh, well, it just, you know, I'm not going to say. It, it, it may or may not have. Uh, there's we'll not an earthquake that. here in Algona. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're just... <laughs> The camera We're making put some up last minute adjustments. The crowd here is taller than we ever imagined. I don't know if it's altitude or what here in Algona. The Saint side of this stands are nearly full. They really are. Don't let that stop you from coming if you're on your way here. And if you're not on your way here, uh, you're just too far away from home. Just there's just room tune for in. us. You can sit by us. That's right. You can always sit by us. We'll get you people to scoot together. You show up, we'll get you a seat. <laughs> the Canal Genius here with Duke Scoop and Not Your Average Joe, and we are in round. Number three. Number three. Of uh, the postseason, the girls' varsity Trace. basketball. Saints are taking on, I'm sorry, the St. Ansgar Saints are taking on these Bishop Garrigan. Golden. Golden Bears. Bears. I want to call Not them the Honey Bears, bears all the honey time. Honey Bears? We go I Honey Bears. I don't hate it. Bears. They're kind of a sweet little bear mascot. They got to run around here somewhere. We'll get some footage of it. There's a few Saints TV shirts in here. That's right. If you're wearing one. And you're maybe watching. We see some people watching these games from the stands. Maybe checking out the replays. Um, Duke, you probably need to start a whole new. Should I start you up there? You good? What'd I do? Uh, you're oh, all all yeah. your buttons are lit up with highlights from the last game. Oh, maybe, yeah. that, maybe you got a plan there. Oh, 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 there he is right there. Wait, wait, wait. Slamming Sammy P. And he's got a little partner with him. I'm not sure. Here's how we got to this point. Here's. Uh, oh, I like this. This is last like week. It. Or, yeah, no, earlier this week. It feels like last week, like but it was just week, three days ago. Yeah, just three days ago. Here's some highlights from our, whoop, there's the cheerleaders. They're here tonight as well. Made the trip over. Good Saints to see them. beat Newman Catholic to advance here tonight to take on these Golden Bears of Bishop Garrigan. Number six ranked Bishop Garrigan Golden Bears. They come in 21-2 and two on the season, fellas. Their only losses are to a number 12 ranked 3A Forest City team. And a number two ranked 1A Newell Fonda oh, yeah, team yeah, early yeah. in the season. So they have have two blemishes, uh, both of them two very good teams. This team beat North Iowa, Newman, and Lake Mills, who, of course, all bested the Saints at least once yeah. this year. Defending state champs, too, aren't they? I should know that, and I think yes. you are. Yeah, yes, two, is, it, are. is it even? I was going to say, is it two time? You know what? I don't know. There was a new. I know they won there last was a new year. Fonda. Our chat's open, by the way. If you're out there and you know the answer to that, now I know they won last year. I know, I know there was a new Fonda slash. It was a Garrigan. A couple of battles in there Abs. between those two teams yeah. at state over the last what three of the last four years? I believe they have, those it two teams like have it. made the finals. It yeah. feels yeah. like. Yeah. Saints come in fourteen and nine overall. Uh, you know, obviously coming off that win at Newman, we've kind of talked about finding their rhythm. They found it. They're back to playing their game. You've seen some of those highlights on the screen here tonight. These two teams are very evenly matched in a lot of statistical categories outside of scoring. That <laughs> yeah. is, you know, and of course, that's what this game's about, right? So it's a big deal. But, uh, you know, from defensively, both of these teams allow about 39 and a half points a game. Offensively, the, the Saints score 49. Bishop Garrigan scores 63 points per mm. game. So that's mm. that'll be the difference in this one is the Saints containing the Bishop Garrigan scores. Guys, this Bear, Golden Bear team has shot 554 <laughs> three-pointers oh in this season. In 23 games, that's 24 from behind the deep arc uh, per game. They make 30% of them, so they made 168 of them, or seven per game. So they're averaging 21 points a game just off of three-pointers. That'll be something to watch. 
here tonight. If this game comes down to three free throws, edge Bishop Garrigan. They shoot almost 70% from the line. The Saints are shooting 52. Assists per game, 16.7. That's a massive number. This Garrigan team has 16.7 assists per game on average. Uh, they lead in that. Like I said, rebounds, steals, fouls, three-point percentage. The teams are very evenly matched. It's going to come down to how, how do the Saints go offensively tonight and how they can limit some of these Garrigan scores. They're led by a freshman, Graceland Eastman, number 15, 16 and a half points per game for her, 11.4 for Abby Capacious, number 21, and number 24, Sasha Alish, 11.2 points per game. They're going to do starting lineups here on the court. We will turn it over and let them do the announcing. Uh -oh. Oh, he pulled the plug. Keep in mind that high school sports are about students learning and growing, not just winning. Let's all do our part to bench bad behavior at our athletic events. We also ask that you keep your area clean to pick them up. Thank you. We welcome tonight's teams, the Saints of St. Anne's College. <laughs> and the Olympic Bears of Bishop Garrity. The Saints are coached by Scott Pink Rice and assisted hey, we're by back. Jeff Anderson. Introducing the Saints. Number three, Amelia Porich. Number 13, Kenzie Anderson. Number 25, Kaylee Hicken. Number 31, Aspen Falk. And number 53, Lindsey Cruzy. The Bears are coached by Brandon Schwab, assisted by Mick Elbert and Joe Bartolo. Introducing the Golden Bears. Number 10, Emmy Bartolo. Number 15, Graceland Eastman. Number 21, Abby Capacious. Number 22, Zoe Montag. And number 24, Sinja Olish. Tonight's officials, Jeff Soper, Lance Poyer, and Jason Slater. Working the scorers table this evening, Gary Kinseth, Eric Deegan, Matt Muller, and Alex Schwinn. Please join us by removing any caps or hats in honoring this great nation of ours as Bishop Garrigan's Amari Thomas sings the national anthem. Beautiful rendition there by a Bishop Garrigan student to start the night off. Thank Saints. you, Madeline Schmidt, for chiming in. Bishop has won the last two, but has been in the last four championships. So four games. in a row championship games, game appearances to W's. So tall test for the Saints girls tonight. But I tell you what, this team's scrappy, right? Got five seniors that don't want to be done. No, I wouldn't count them out just yet. Nope. 
But a good start is going to be key. We talked about it at Newman Catholic. The same thing true here at Bishop Gergen Catholic. Got to start off like we know they can, can play. The tip goes to the Golden Bears. Fifteen is Eastman. She's just a freshman, averaging 16 and a half points a game. As it's many threes as you said they take, I figured she would have shot that. Would have shot you right. Wide open. She must not be the shooter. Well, she takes a step inside the line and fires away. She misses. Aspen Falk with the rebound. Good rebound. And you talked about it in the pregame, Joe. Even though they do shoot 500 threes a season, they're only 30% from behind the arc. So... Rebound is going to be key, making sure you don't um, allow them to get offensive boards. Because 30% is not that high of a right. shooting well, percentage. Cruzy misses the short jumper over Eastman. Long three from downtown. Goes. So clearly they're going to make the Saints respect that outside shot. Making that yep. three early is going to put an exclamation point on that. Bartolo takes it from the co-op here at the south end of town. <laughs> diamonds. She takes it from Diamonds. I was trying to think of a store here, and I'll go on. I just came up with one. I don't think it's open anymore, but we're going with Diamonds. Floater. No good. Rebound. Goes oh. to Eastman, and she lays it up and in for her first bucket. And it's quickly 5-0. Bishop Garrigan. And that was a gift. Had, Falk had it there, but just slipped out of her hands and went right to the uh, Golden Bears player. Shots missed by Anderson. Rebound capacious. Ooh, Falk. Contest that one, but good hands. Right idea. Yep. Zalish gets it off to Bartolo. She her second three. Wins. And this is quickly out of hand here in Bishop Gergen. Two minutes in, down eight. Saints need a bucket. Bartolo averaging just over there 10 points a game, has six already. Got to weather the storm here if you're the Saints. Yep, stop the bleeding. Eastman back to Bartolo, who thought about it again, and why not? Eastman inside around Cruzy up. Coach Kate Rice needs a timeout. The Saints will take one here. 5.29 to go in the first quarter. It's been all Bishop Garrigan. 10-0, they lead it. We'll take a quick break here, guys. We'll be right back right after this message. For real estate, automobiles, RVs, and dreams. Whether you are buying your first home, taking a dream vacation, or paying for life's little extras, we have a loan that will fit your needs. St. Ansgar State Bank. Local since 1891. And we are back. Saints down here by 10 points. Two and a half minutes into this thing. The Golden Bears are going to press. Saints break it with an Anderson dribble. Ball baseline back to the corner. Porsche drives. Thinks better of it. Kicks it back out. Anderson. She's fouled on the shot. She'll go to the line. Shoot two. That's capacious on the foul. Her first. And the first of the game for either team. Anderson will shoot two. Good possession there for the Saints. A little at a time now. Got to chip away. But you got to make your free throws. That ball's been going strong off that rim so far. And the only three minutes we played in this game. They seem to just settle down, lighten up on those shots, and put them in the basket. Second one finds its way in. And the Saints get on the scoreboard with an Anderson free throw. The rims are like, there's a big hollow thud whenever the ball hits them. Oh, boy. Bartolo. She's feeling it. She has three made three-pointers. My Mitchell County Mass says that's nine points. All of them have been from deep. Average is 10.6 a game. 
has three NBA range threes. And as you said, Duke, when that ball hits the rim and has a sound to it, she hasn't hit the rim yet. <laughs> it's nothing but net when she's shooting those from way out there. Turn around by Porsche doesn't go. Grizzly tries to throw it up right away. Doesn't go. Rebound out to Bishop Garrigan. Montag. The backdoor cut. Nice yeah. find. Making it look easy. That looked a little too easy. Eastman's got six points. The freshman, big freshman, Easton. She's a player. And this one's been all Bishop Garrigan. Saints just can't find a rhythm here offensively. Credit Bishop Garrigan in the defense. Porsche for three. That's left. Kicks off the iron. Capacious with the rebound. Good hands. Porsche turnover. Got to capitalize here. Anderson does. Anderson the, does just it. that. Two points. Anderson two has three. all three points for the Saints. And that's how you get back in it, right? Travis is one at a time. <laughs> one possession at a time. Not the start okay. you wanted, you wanted, but if if you're the Saints, you got to take a deep breath and collect yourself. First foul on the Saints, that goes against Porsche. Free throws no good. It's Montag, Zoe Montag, a junior, averaging seven points a game. Averaging, or shooting 80% from the free throw line on the season, and the wow. misses Call that a gift, both. Then. I believe that is exactly correct. Oh, there's a good find. Hey, nice play. Hey. Aspen, Falk. Aspen Falk with her first bucket. She cuts the lead to 10. That's a good move by Eastman inside. Hard to stop that. She's got eight points. And good defense by Cruzy, not letting her just bowl through her. Still, good shot. Cruzy. Jumper. That might have got tipped. Either way, Golden Bears have it. Number 10, Bartolo has three three-pointers from downtown Algona. So she's one to watch. Capacious, drive in. Her first bucket. There they get Eastman for the foul. They got called her for the body there. Second foul on the Golden Bears. If you're just joining us, Saints are down 14 here. Nearly six minutes into this one, it has been all Bishop Garrigan so far here. Tonight. Oh, nice play. Porsche misses it. Rebound by Hicken. Brief cameo by Sammy, slamming Sammy on the camera there. <laughs> he does get excited, doesn't he? Bartolo drives oh. in, doesn't go. Cruzy gets the rebound. So she's much better from 40 feet away right. from the basket <laughs> than four feet away. I thought she might stop. And oh, great nice play pass. by the Saints on that. Good job by Anderson to find Falk underneath, and Falk has four. Yeah. There's a three wide open. Olish misses. Out of bounds off the Saints. Minute 34 to go in the first quarter. The Saints trail by 12. I believe it was. It was 13 1 at one point. So the Saints have. Stop the bleeding. Stop the bleeding, but now have to, to do still. Yeah, exactly. Going to need, and you got to start now, right? You're down to a good team. You got to start chipping into that thing one, one possession, possession at, a time. at a time. Often we've said that this yeah, year. Yeah, no doubt. Capacious <laughs> jumper doesn't go. No. Pick and rebound. There's the stop. Get a bucket. Peterson has checked in for the Saints. 
Orge finds Cruzy inside, tipped out of bounds, but it'll stay with the Saints. Right idea there. Hicken will inbound. Cruzy up. Ooh, no home <laughs> guard off the backboard. Doesn't Peterson go. tracks down the rebound. I think Falk tipped it out of there. Good job keeping the play alive. They're getting that look inside with Cruzy that they want. Just can't buy a bucket. There it is. There it is. As hard as they've been to come by, I don't want to call that one until it hit the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, those rims are bouncy. They we even saw sure in the last are. Bishop Garrigan possession that layup that looked like it might roll in just bounced right out. Not a friendly rim, unless you're swishing them like uh, Bartolo has been so far. Rapacious after a good find. There's another Walsh. three. A short. Rebound fought for. Peterson comes away with it. Try to be strong with it. A lot of contact on that rebound. Inside to Cruzy, up and rolls These around, rims, falls out. I'm telling you. Tipped out. Ten seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Saints would have liked to have had a basket there. Need to prevent one now. Alish for three. Uh, of course he did. Wow. That shot pretty much summarizes the first quarter of this one at Bishop Garrigan Saints down. Nine to 22. With that, we'll take a moment to thank you, Farmer State Bank and Grand Millers. Due to your generous contributions, our Saints students have gotten into our regular season Saints events totally free of charge. Speaking of free of charge, Saints TV is bound and determined. It's our goal to bring these games to you totally free of charge. And thank you to all who have generous, generously donated to Saints TV. We'll keep the QR code up on the screen. If you're watching from home and would like to contribute to help us keep this stream totally free to watch from home. Uh, if you'd rather log into the internet, it's down the lower right-hand side of your screen, givebutter.com slash saintsfan, or P.O. Box 371 in St. Iowa. So what do we got to do here, guys? Well, you got to shrug off that last buzzer beater. I know it adds three points and gives a whole bunch of momentum to Bishop Garrigan, but you were doing everything right. You'd stop the bleeding. You'd kind of yep. swung the momentum Had it to back within to 10. Yep. Had it within 10. Um, you just got to shrug off that last buzzer beater and keep playing the way you've been playing um, the final half of that first quarter. Yeah. We're getting the ball inside. Cruzy's getting a bunch of good looks. They will go. Be patient, but at the same time, you can't wait either, right? It's uh, we, we need we need stops, we need buckets, and you got to start cutting into this lead because they're going to get theirs, as evidenced by that last three-pointer. It seems like these Saints girls have had more success the last couple games. It feels like, I don't know statistically what the answer it feels like we've shot less three-pointers, we've attempted less three-pointers, and it's worked in our favor here the last couple games. Is there a point here, guys, where we got to start firing threes? We're, I don't think so. We're not there yet, for no. sure, right? I mean, we may get there, but I don't. I think it's you play your game, which is get the ball inside. We seem to have, we don't have the size advantage, but we seem to have the play advantage inside on the offensive end, and just the opposite on the defensive end. Sure. And that's because Eastman does that really, really well. Yes, she does. And then she gets her own rebound. Insult to injury. The three on the way, no good. Anderson gets the rebound and is fouled by Montag. Her first, the first of the quarter for the Golden Bears. Foul on Zoe Montag. Anderson. So I was making some notes at the start of this quarter. It shows the Saints have a foul. Was that accurate? And who is it on? Or is this that, quarter? Yeah. I don't think they have one. Okay, this I didn't think so either. Three on the way for Porsche doesn't go. Rebounded by Anderson, but she fumbles it away to uh, Bartolo. Eastman. Eastman. Nope. Yeah. Out of bounds on the rebound to go to the Saints. The Bishop Kerrigan crowd didn't see it that way. I'm not sure I did either. But <laughs> I'm not sure I did either. But you <laughs> know okay. what? Maybe she's got long fingers and That's we right. see it. That's right. That's <laughs> right. He's got a much better view than all of us and the crowd, believe it or not. Jar to Anderson. Anderson floater. Oh, Got man, it. We needed that. Maybe that's how you get baskets on these rims. <laughs> it's just got to be the soft touch. Oh, yeah. Down how many 11. times have we seen uh, Anderson drive in and nail a floater this season? Well, particularly that last game. 
Got to rebound Man's that. Bench. And Falk eventually does. She's going to push. That speed of hers making it easy. Oh. The iron is unkind. And then Anderson commits the foul after. And that ball just sat on the top of the rim and rolled out. And I, we rarely see uh, Aspen Falk miss those layups, too. Like you said, that, that rim just seems so rigid. 22-11, Bishop Garrigan leads. I think it's rubber. It's made out of rubber. Oh, there's a steal. Oh, steal. Won't miss Layout. this time. Oh, what you did. I didn't. Oh, jeez. That sums up the night shooting for the Saints. Yeah, got to get back on defense. Well, not in that way, though. And you Jar commits the foul. Eastman will go to the line and make it a three-point play. On that last play where Falk stole the ball, and you could see her lightening up and very intentionally trying to lay that ball in there yep. easily because she knows what these rims are like, and it still didn't go in. Ends up being a four-point <laughs> swing away from the Saints' favor. Saints looking to push. Falk for two, tipped around, doesn't go, and another follow on Jar. She's got two in short order. Three on the Saints in the quarter. The scoreboard says four. There's a mystery foul abounds. We like mystery buckets, but we don't like mystery fouls. So we're going to have to figure out who's right, us or them. Oh, there's some questions right now. How many fouls is that? I just read the ref's lips yep. asking for some clarification here. Because he's like, we didn't call four. It was the opposing coach. Who's talking to him? He wanted five, maybe. I don't know. It's only three. <laughs> we'll have to go watch the film. Do we all miss a foul on that first possession? That's the only possibility. Well, guess what Joel Carlson says. Porsche had one right at the beginning of the quarter. You have oh, we did miss it. Thank you. All three of us missed it, so we appreciate Joel chiming in. Thanks, Joel. Eastman, 12 points in the early going here. She is killing the Saints inside. Anderson takes it around the world. She was shooting that. Yep, they'll give it they, to her. They do give her the shooting foul. She'll go to the line, shoot two. Second foul, unless we can find a mystery foul on Bishop Garrigan. I believe that's only two. Well, we tried We tried to make one of the actual to fouls one. a mystery foul. That's correct. We did. Didn't work, though. No. No, no, sir. Joel is always on top of it. Thank you, Joel. While our mics may reach around the world, they do not reach to the ears of the zebras on this court. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Joel often is one of the zebras, or at least I see him wearing the attire. He does wear the attire. He's got the garb. It Neither one there. goes cruisy. Comes away with the wow. rebound. Maybe. Anderson for three. Got, Got it. it. That's it. Man, the Saints needed that. Ooh. I like how that went down. Strong hands by Cruzy. Rips it away. Pushes it to Anderson, who shoots and makes a three. Deficit is now only 12. Bartolo, who has three made three-pointers in this one. To Eastman. Strong off the backboard. Cruzy rebound. Five minutes to go till halftime. Oh, Anderson is Wide going. open layup. And that's too strong. Cruzy oh, misses. misses. How many Gotta close make shots? Yeah. Yep. And the Saints have missed a pile of them tonight. Bork has checked in for the Saints. Hickens back in as well. Ooh, how did she find daylight there? They replaced the good. rims in this place today. Well, you they know, had to have, right? As I look at the, if you guys look at the backboards real close, I think these backboards were made in the early 2000s. There used to be a flubber only plant here in Algona <laughs> that I think has since closed, but I'm looking, I think those are the old backboards. It's the backboards themselves that may be causing a lot of the problems gotcha. here. I got gotcha. you. Three doesn't go, long okay. rebound. Bartolo got it. That's four. Three pointers for Emmy Bartolo in the first half. She's got 12 points. Eastman has 12 points. And the Saints are down 15. Saints are taking a break. We'll take a break. We'll be back right after this.
Broadcast is brought to you in part by Box K Beef, premium wholesale beef from our place to your plate. For all your electrical needs, contact the boys at Al's Electric in St. Ansgar, Iowa. Proud supporters of Saints Athletics. Yeah, I, that's that's obvious. <laughs> all right. So Back here in Algona. A little discussion. We realized that uh, Sparrow just doesn't have a memory at all. But we're back. Saints are down by 15. 357 remaining here in the first half of this one. Falk with it at the top of the key. Looking to create a little offense here for the Saints. Might make it a travel with the slide on the I knees. I was sure we would, but we did She hot potatoed it away quick she enough. Sure they did. decided not to make that call. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Got to do something with it. And they get bailed out by a foul. Fortunate for the Saints. Third foul of the quarter. That one goes on Olish. Her second. She checks out. Hoglin comes in for her. Saints are playing basically half of this quarter with four fouls. Gonna have to be smart the rest of the way. Yep, gotta try to cut it to 10 at half. That's not how you do it. Eastman with the long arms. That's a freshman, Graceland Eastman. 10 rebounds, 16 points, two blocks a game for the freshman. Floater doesn't go, Cruzy rebound. Montag ended up on the ground. Pass is taken away by Capacious. Capacious, oh, she was going to drive in, but lost the handle, so instead brings it back out to Eastman for three. Got it. Works down low, works out top. Eastman's got 15. I'm beginning to see why they shoot so many threes, but the percentage is better than average tonight. Now, you could tell they're a hot and cold team, right? When you shoot 550 yep. of them, and would only shoot 30%. That means there's nights they just don't go in. Tonight is not one of those. Cruzy gets her own rebound and is fouled. Foul on Zoe Montag. Going to the line, Lindsay Cruzy. Montag with her second foul. So the Golden Bears have two girls with two fouls prior to half here. It's Cruzy makes the first. Her free throw shooting has greatly improved this season. And fun to see her. I'm sure she's spent some time working on that. It, it is much improved. Makes both. Cruzy cuts the lead to 16. She's got four points tonight. Oh, what a pass. Mm. Eastman. Timeout Saints. Oh, excuse me, timeout Bishop Garrigan. Full timeout Bishop Garrigan. We'll be right back after this. This broadcast brought to you in part by Gordy's Repair in Stacyville, Iowa. Bureau of Financial Services. It's your future. Let's protect it. Contact Agent Brian Putney with offices in St. Ansgar and St. This broadcast is brought to you in part by Canine Cabin Kenneling and Pet Services in Stacyville, Iowa. Uh, honest, hardworking employees working together to create the best product and get it to our customers in the most time efficient manner to keep the ag industry moving. Economy, we embrace a holistic approach to crop production, focusing on soil, seed, and plant health. K2 Agronomy, helping our customers to achieve the maximum return on their investment. 
All right, we're back here. Bishop Garrigan, 34, St. Ansgar Saints, 16. 225 remaining here in the first half. Aspen Falk with it here for the Saints. Peterson is in after that break. Falk back to Peterson. Peterson had a wide open, uh, could have drove all the way to the block there, and there's no defenders. So keep an eye on that going forward. Hopefully the Saints can find that Falk is play. Having a hard time finding the bottom left. Yeah, shooting's yeah, got to. Aspen. Heat Pass up here. picked off the other way with Capacious up and in. Two points, Capacious. Capacious has four points. Just three Saints with points in the first half. Not our recipe. We like it when we can say six Saints with points at the half. Yeah. It's a, a good rule of thumb. Anderson. Another pass stolen away. Gortolo up. No good. Rebound. Falk. Peterson with it. Finds Porsche in the corner for three. No, no good. good. Gortolo's going to bring it back up for Bishop Garrigan. Stop and pop. It's no good. Rebound. Porsche. It's the first miss, I think, for Bortolo. That's her fit. She's four for five on the night for 12 points, all from way downtown. I think four for six. Four yeah, for six. She missed the last two in a row. Gotcha. That's That's good for she's us. cold. No, she's flat out seven. cold. She missed the layup earlier. <laughs> flat out cold now. Four for seven, yeah, because she missed that layup. Oh, were you talking about that? Nope. I don't know. Doesn't talking matter. Three, we're talking four. Talking she yep. made enough to help the Bearcats. She sure or not has. Bearcats. Golden we'll Bears. Go Bearcats. It doesn't matter. Say it with confidence. To, uh, the people will believe it. Doubled up the Saints so far in this first half. So they're looking to hold for perhaps the last shot. Poked out. Out of bounds. Off the Golden Bears. Saints basketball. Now in for the Bears, number 20, Raven Murphy. Number 24, Murphy checks in Olish. and Olish back in for the Golden Bears. I believe that's Murphy's first appearance. She's a senior. Now in for the Bears, number four, Reese Kemna. Kemna checks in as well for Bishop Garrigan. 18 seconds to go in the first half. Saints have had... Good luck getting the ball inside, but can't get a bucket. That shot by Anderson doesn't go. Kemna for three. Oh. No. That'll do it in the first half. The Bishop Garrigan Golden Bears lead at 36-18 over the Saints. St. Dan's guard. Well, we got 10 minutes here till the second half begins. Uh, we're going to take a commercial break here, pay some bills. We might say we thanks, thank our sponsors for helping us keep this stream totally free to watch. So we'll be back right after this in a few minutes. We'll be back at you with some first half stats. Don't go anywhere. Emmanuel Lutheran Church in St. Ansgar is celebrating 150 years of God's faithfulness to us who believe that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13.8 The score of any game is generally forgotten over time. But the actions of players, coaches, and fans are remembered. Sportsmanship is an attitude that can have a positive influence on everyone around you. In the stands and on the court. How do you want to be remembered? Support your team positively. And enjoy the game. And enjoy the game. And enjoy the game. Insurance team's experienced agents understand the unique risks and needs of the agricultural community. They offer competitive rates and comprehensive coverage to protect your farm, equipment, crops, and livestock. Choose Focus Insurance for reliable service, market expertise, and peace of mind.
Today's broadcast is brought to you in part by Prairie Lakes Church in Osage. Services are every Sunday at 9 and 10.30 a.m. Are you sure that's the color you want? Positive. Hey, did you remember to grab painter's tape? Yes. And you think this is enough paint? Don't worry, I've done this before. I know what I'm doing. Air. Hey, why don't you use your phone to pay? My phone? Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I've done this before. Pay with just a tap. One of the many ways FSB digital wallets make banking easy. Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union encourages positive behavior. Pride, respect, leadership, and sportsmanship on the court and in the stands. Remember what a great privilege it is to see your team compete. Thank you for your attendance. Enjoy the game. And enjoy the game. If you're looking for a great place to watch the game, try CB Brandt's Pub and Grill in St. Ansgar. Want to see today's specials? Facebook search CB Brandt's Pub and Grill. A thousand followers can't possibly be wrong. For work or for play, having a driver's license is pure freedom. Saints Driving School offers year-round driver's education classes. Why would you wait? Call 641-420-3594 today. And doers. And the right skills can turn dreams into reality. We partner with businesses and universities to get you to the next level leading the way with intention and purpose. So when you graduate, your dream becomes your reality. We educate, we partner, we lead, so you can dream big. North Iowa Area Community College. State Bank has a strong commitment to farmers. We provide the highest level of service with quick turnaround time, competitive interest rates, flexible payment options, and the ability to work with you on any size loan. Our agricultural banking specialists are experienced in farming and understand the important role agriculture credit plays in your operation. Because of our ability to make local credit decisions, we respond quickly to your total agricultural financing needs. St. Ansgar State Bank, helping you meet your financial goals. As a family-owned business since 1922, we have a good feel for what it takes to be a strong and growing member of the local economy. Our hope is that our customers and employees have a warm and welcoming experience each and every time. We strive to communicate a clear vision and plan for individuals, our company, and our community's success. We work to ensure that the quality of all of our people, our products, and our services stand the test of time. If you would be a good fit for our company in a mechanical or managerial position, we would love to hear from you. Benefits include competitive pay, 401k, health, dental, and life insurance, flexible spending accounts, vacation, and holiday pay. Because we believe it's more than just a place to work. It's a place to call home. State Bank, we have a proud tradition of commitment of excellence. Cut. 
guys, what's all the big production about? We have a couple job openings that we're looking to fill, so we're making a commercial. Just tell them you're going to pay them well. We're really pretty easy to get along with most of the time, and there's plenty of room for advancement or whatever. At Farmer State Bank, we have a proud tradition of paying you, being pretty easy to get along with most of the time, and there's plenty of room for advancement, or whatever. This broadcast is brought to you in part by St. Ansgar Chiropractic. Wax beads. The foundation of better candle making is built on cleaner burning soy-based candle wax. American Soy Organics. Better wax for candle makers by candle makers. Leaving your crops unprotected from droughts, floods, hailstorms, and pests can leave a farmer at serious risk of losing their equipment and their land, putting their family's future at risk. Beeland Ag Risk Services, your partner in crop insurance. Nah, man. It's not a broadcast, it's a broadvisation. This broadcast is brought to you in part by Cobalt Realtors with service you can depend on and know how you can count on. St. Ansgar is a thriving community in North Central Iowa with a lot. All right, we are back here in Algona, Iowa. Bishop Garrigan leads the St. Ansgar Saints 36 to 18. Got about 20 seconds left here before the second half begins. Got some highlights rolling for you. Eastman for Bishop Garrigan has 17, Bartolo has 12, Capacious with four, and Alish with three. For the Saints, led by Kinsey Anderson with eight points, Aspen Falk has four, and Lindsey Cruzy has four. Cruzy has eight rebounds, Falk has five. Got a new contributor here tonight, guys. Steve Pope says once a Saint, always a Saint. Go Saints. Also mentions he loves watching. Thanks for tuning in, Steve. Shout out to Steve Pope. Miss you, buddy. Montag gets back to Capacious. Kicks it to Olish. Got it. And the hot streak yes. continues. Yes, it does. Her second three-pointer of the night. The hot shooting continues for the Golden Bears. Tipped out of bounds, but off of Bartolo. So the Saints will retain possession. Knocked out of bounds by Bartolo. But the Saints will retain possession. Stop me if you've heard this one before. I was say, did you just say this before? I thought I might have. I but thought I hit the replay button. <laughs> no, check, no need to check your audio settings, folks. He did say it twice. Saints get it in that time. Porsche gets it into Cruzy. Let's move inside from Cruzy. The rim is unkind. Around. Rebound. To the Golden Bears. Uh -huh. Stolen away by Kinsey Anderson. She lays it up. And in. Kinsey nice. Anderson has 10 points. Great touch by Tin Kinsey to get that one in the basket. And, yeah, she has been the offense for the Saints tonight. 10 points for her? 10 points. Well, she's been half of the offense for there the you Saints. Go. We've got 20, she's got 10. Technically, she has been half. <laughs> Eastman, beast Turn inside. Jumper. Misses that one, but Capacious comes flying in for the rebound. Back to Eastman, who does not does miss that one. Those new rims. Porsche. 
ball. Hicken, who's had a quiet night. Let's get her going. Inside to Good Cruzy. feed. That has been the mission tonight. Get the ball inside to Cruzy. She gets her own rebound after the missed shot and will go to the line to shoot. Two. It's two for two from the free throw line tonight. First one's up and right through. A construction crew in the corner there. I'm not sure what kind of construction is going on around here, but Cruzy not even phased by those guys. Look at that. She makes both. She's four for four from the stripe tonight. You said earlier how much she's improved this year. Talking to those coaches, it sounds like she's been practicing a lot, and in practice she's, she's been making them. I'm glad to see that translate here. Yeah, the results have been apparent for sure. Ortolo looking for the foul, doesn't get it, and Cruzy gets the rebound. Falk's going to set the Saints up from the top. Back to Hicken. Anderson. Anderson driving in again, trying to draw a foul, doesn't get one. Now got to be careful not to commit one going yeah. the other way. She does just that. The lead is 17. Capacious finds Eastman inside. Her turnaround jumper. Good. What a great play design that was, too. Eastman averages 16 and a half points tonight. She has 19. Force for three. Too long. Capacious rebound. Ortolo for three for her fifth of the night. Doesn't go. Rebound Falk. Started off three for three. Has Not missed the last three attempts. Thought about another one, instead passes it off. And Capacious will start the offense. A little instruction from the coach. Try and change the play here. There they get it changed. They get the communication in. 16 seconds on the shot clock. It's like a football coach. Still looking Screaming. to set up that <laughs> pass down inside of the post. Polish misses everything, but Eastman gets the rebound. Blocked out of bounds by Porsche. Great job by Porsche. Get a hand on that one. Doing her best Hunter Hillman impression. It must be harder to shoot at the hoop on the south end of the court because they aren't having as much luck either this half. Saints are going to need that to continue to try to get back in this one. Hicken fouls. First for the Saints. And the first on Hicken. Timeout. The Bears. Golden Bears. The Golden Bears use their second timeout. Full timeout, Bishop Berryman. Yeah, full timeout. Hey, with this full timeout, let's take a moment here, guys, and thank the coaches. Uh, the St. Anger Boys and Girls third to sixth grade teams participate in Saints Saturday Basketball Scrimmage League. That's a mouthful. The league was completely free for everyone to come to St. Anger Schools using all three gyms at our single location from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturdays. We gave our youth a chance to learn the game of basketball and have fun. Uh, four Saturdays. Nine schools, by the way, join the league. Nine Austin, schools. Yeah, That's Austin, awesome. Austin, uh, Central Springs, Lyle Pacelli, Northwood, Osage, Riceville, Rockford, Southland, St. Ansgar. 66 games were played in this league. That's a special shout-out to Bryce Conway, the athletic director the Riceville Schools for coaching and officiating games each Saturday. That's a big commitment, you guys. That's just uh, thank you. And then thank you to the coaches who are on the screen. You see them here, Matt, Rachel, Devin, Luke, Clark, Tyler, Carrie, Brian, Jess, Alyssa, Molly, Tara, Rachel, Jason, and Brooke. Thank you for all your And others. Help. We weren't sure we had the complete list, so if, if we missed you, we, we, we know you. We know you're out there, and we appreciate all that you do. That's, That's a how you build a program in any sport, right? It starts it at is. that youth level. It really does. It takes a village, literally. And uh, thank goodness those folks are willing to step up 
and help make it happen for the Saints. You got it. You got it. Six points for Capacious. Pretty lucky with all those all those folks. The community's come together to make that happen. Yeah, and what a cool deal. Like, it's not, you know, it's everybody working together from all those communities to provide the opportunity for all the kids. So. Cool deal there. It's Amelia Porsche, Porsche gets the roll off the front of the rim. It's her first we bucket. Think that was possible. We thought this right? was the most <laughs> yeah. unfriendly rim we'd ever seen. I think she figured it out. I thought the short uh, shot was oh, short. Oh, there it is. The rims yes. were repaired at half, it appears. Now everything's going to go. Olish has three made three-pointers. Kicked out to Hicken. Peters. Three zone. Yep. Olish. See Jar down at the scorer's table ready to come in. She does that on the buzzer here. Checks in for Cruzy. You know, I think just about every team we played this year throws a 2-3 zone at us. Because we like to pound the ball inside and get buckets close to the hoop. Yep. Part of the way you break that, right, is to bury a couple of threes. The yep. Saints are going to need to do that. Peterson travels, turnover Saints. Yep, shuffled their foot there. Didn't quite see it live, but on the replay, it was pretty clear. It's, yeah, it's one of those things like, are you sure? And then you go watch the replay. It's like, my goodness, how do these guys see this? So hats off to the guys what in the stripes. What are you talking they get about? It. Oh, that's oh, what he's talking about. Oh, that's what he's talking about. I hate it when they're right, and they usually are. That's why we've learned to try to be quiet. That one looked a little too easy for Bortolo. 14 points. I think that's been the theme tonight, Eric. Everything's a little too easy for the Golden Bears, and... That one was pretty easy for us. I like it when it goes when it goes easy on our basket. Who who made that one for us? Uh, Porsche, I believe. Thank you. That was Porsche. And the Golden Bears, they are content to trade buckets at this point when they've got a uh, going on a 30-point lead here. Falk jumper. Got it. Nice. nice. Soft, easy rims here in the second half. You're right just, about the rims getting fixed, Joe. I think oh. you're right. We didn't have the camera on them, I don't think, at the time, but well, we if you commercial. did, let's hit that replay. When they were fixing them? Oh, great job. Yeah, fixing oh. the rims. We were running commercials, paying bills, so to speak. One more shout out. I don't know if we mentioned it. We got that list and all the information about youth basketball from Brian Cruzy. And Brian was instrumental in making all that happen and getting dates scheduled and getting people on board and teams lined up. So special shout out to uh, Cruise Ship's dad. That's how he's known. It's Cruise Ship's dad, Brian Cruzy. Hence why he had the list. And that's right. Probably <laughs> the keeper of the list. <laughs> the keeper of the list. Must be involved with the list. Co correct. He capacity. was involved. So I want to make sure we mentioned him I'm as well. I'm glad you mentioned that, Joe. Thank you. I was watching the clock and trying to get that whole announcement in one minute. And you're right. That's that's a big deal. Thank you, Brian. Free throw on the way for Joe. Yeah. Yeah. You just got to learn Free how to throw use for two. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, everything's going in. Saints are going to need a heck of a run here. They're going to need the friendly rolls to continue on one side of the court. Yep. And not the one where the ball's at right now. There's no quit in these girls, so well, I have a feeling they're going to give it their all here. We've seen them do it on a number of occasions yep. this season where that, they've found themselves in a hole and made it a close game. Storming back. Yeah, that West Fork game to comes to so, mind. Yeah. Anderson. Anderson with the foul for the Saints there. There you go. There's a steal. Take advantage of one it One stop. Yep. It all starts with the next one. One stop. Mm. Oh. Oh. One foul. We'll take that. Get 20. Reagan Murphy. Her first, second on the Golden Bears. Minute left in this third quarter. Kind of quiet quarter foul-wise. And an offensive foul. Interesting call there. I'm not sure. Yeah, what was the foul? I, mean, I guess you replayed it there. but I'll let you decide, viewer. 
he told Cake Rice, I was reading his lips and watching his movement, that she was hooking behind with her arm holding her behind her. I don't know. Jar was? Jar was. I didn't see that, but perhaps you did on the replay. Her arm behind was up in the air. Three, no good. Rebound, Porsche. I'm changing the subject. Good idea. <laughs> good idea. Nothing we can do about Nothing it. Nothing anyway. we can do about it from here. Exactly. We said it earlier. These, these referees are generally right. They see things we don't. That's why they get paid to do the job. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> 52 to 30. Bishop Kerrigan leads it. Jar at the line. She'll shoot two. Three fouls for each team. No good on the first free throw. Special thanks to Lori Marsh, James Kramer, and Katie Penfold for giving butter here tonight. Awesome. Thank you. Because of your contributions, we get to keep doing this for free, which is exactly how much we make on it is free. We just Charm love doing it. Misses both. 20 seconds left. In the third quarter, here in Algona. Alish for the bucket. She's got 11 points tonight. Rebound. Ooh, no good on the three from Falk. And that'll do it in the third quarter. 54-30. Saints trail Bishop Garrigan. Well, great season, season here for Coach Cake Rice, who celebrated his 100th win. I don't know what the official count is now, but uh, what a what a great 100 plus, I believe. Yeah, great accomplishment. It's 100 plus. Yeah, 100 plus. Great, great accomplishment all around. Congratulations, Coach Cake Rice. Look at that student section over there. Pretty rocking student section coming over from St. Andrew tonight. See a couple Saints TV t-shirts out there. I see a few of them, actually. Looks like uh, I was looking around at the like. It seems a very precarious placement of the student section right behind the home team's bench. It does. That's an interesting <laughs> choice. When it's your home gym, you can put it wherever but you I want. Like the sticker to our right says the students should be over here. Oh, Visitor oh, students. Oh, okay. So you're saying we didn't follow instructions? I'm not saying anybody did anything intentionally. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> so you're just saying that, that they that's didn't intend for them to be there. I got you. Because that, that would be a strange placement if that's where they you know, were designed to go. Eight minutes on the <laughs> clock in the fourth quarter. And the Saints need a bunch in a hurry here. Oh, but it starts one at a time. Bucket and a stop. Bucket and a stop. Repeat and repeat. Nice There's job. the bucket. Cruise ship. Cruzy has 10 points tonight. Bearcats passing it around, looking to run the offense as it gets tipped away. And another three on the way for Bartolo. Doesn't go. Rebound. She hit four early and has been cold. Porsche. Oof. Just about stolen away. They've contested every long pass tonight. You throw it more than four feet, they're going to get a hand on it. Well, they're quick. And they're smart. And doggone it. That's where I was going, too. <laughs> People like me? People what is like it? me, is I think, is the next <laughs> one. Yep. <laughs> that oh, was coming to my mind, too. But I, I does Duke, here's the there. question of the night. If you think Duke Scoop knows that reference, put it in the chat. Place your vote in the chat. Does Duke Scoop know that reference? Young Duke Scoop, for those of you who don't know, the real Duke Scoop. What, a, oh. a 2013 St. Ansgar graduate? Yeah. Okay, so you, it gives you an idea of age. Does he know <laughs> that reference? I'm closing in on 30, boys. I'm not so young anymore. No. You sure feel young to those of us who you know, start with fives now. Ooh. Speaking for Eric. <laughs> yeah. Uh, closing in on 30s seems like it would feel pretty good. Pretty good. 
Does Duke know the reference? Hey, just come in the chat here. You're welcome in yep, the chat let anytime. Just let us know what you think. Put it in there. There's over 300 of you out there. I would expect 10% of you to be chiming in. I want 30 answers. Does Scoop, Duke Scoop, know the reference? A foul there on the, the Golden Bears. That's on Monte. Her second. Third. Correction. Third on Monte. Very quiet in this gymnasium. Yeah, I'm afraid some, to talk. So there's some discussion going on at the scores table with the referee. I don't know what the question is on. Maybe is it should the shot clock be reset or should it in fact not be reset? Well, we just had a change of possession, right? What's your thoughts, so? Student section is holding their heads like they disagree. 54-32, just a minute gone here in the fourth quarter. Now we're adjusting the score. Oh, man, 112. Ay, ay, ay. Well, you can't see that at home. They're at 99. They're counting down. I'll see if I can get over there. Uh, we're, we're adjusting the score. The way they've been shooting tonight, it feels like they could have that many. So there, we're going smaller. We're going this, lower. We started we are triple stopping digits. at 153. <laughs> they're trying to they're trying to take two points off the board. Is my understanding? Can we go back and look? Well, we I can could, but I can go look because I just match them. I just look up and but put I don't her think on the there. scoreboard was in frame on my camera here. Gotcha. And we now we got the coach playing computer games now. I believe they're checking their Saints TV to see what the actual score was. So, Joe, I hope you're keeping up. I was not. I this, can tell you because like I was <laughs> writing down and just putting numbers to match their scoreboard. So I got no idea. You know, they've made some shots. We've made some shots. Should we just call it a tie? Right. Try again next time. Re re I like postpone, it. reschedule. I like it. <laughs> Good over. idea. Chad Erickson, thank yeah. you for chiming in. Give us a little something to talk about right here. Huge, huge shout out to Coach K. Rice on over 100 wins. He's a class guy who does things the right way. Congrats from Osage. I'm going to give a shout out to uh, Justin Prusman and Dan Ryerson, two people who don't know each other and two people that probably nobody listening knows who they are. But those two people that I know look like a combination of the Bishop Garrigan's coach, if you put those two people together. Is that right? So, random <laughs> random uh, stuff to fill time with here that <laughs> means nothing to nobody, except for me, probably. I think he's talking to the kids, the student section. We're no, please. We're having a scoreboard into the score is 52-32. Okay. That's what I... So here's what I remember 52. on that last possession. And I'm going to go back and watch this. I can't wait. I looked up and like, oh, my scoreboard's off. And I added two points. Oh, you did? Okay. Uh -huh. Which so, is easy to, I'm writing stuff down. And oh, I must have missed that one, right? <laughs> so that's why I don't know uh, what we got here. So we're going to get the clock here right. It is 7.08 to go in the fourth quarter. It is 52-32. The only correct scoreboard in the gym is right here on Saints TV. Well, here's the replay of the play that happened when we stopped. This is what happened. I guess. We can't see the scoreboard from here. But I've got 52 on the board, right? We steal it and get fouled. And then I go, oh, wait, the scoreboard says 54. Yeah, so that was the, that instance. I'm going to take a moment here. Uh, Riley Steinberg, uh, many, many, many are looking forward to the event tomorrow in St. Anne's here. With so many gyms and so much action, we do not plan to stream that. We'd love to be able to someday. We'd love to be able to someday. Uh, you know what? That, that's uh, we do have a huddle camera in the in the large gymnasium that we yeah, could probably possible. just turn that baby on. It wouldn't be a broadcast, but it's possible that we could turn that baby into a stream. Having a little trouble at the scorers table here in Algona. We'll, we'll try that one again. So, are we? Is the plan now to just leave it at fifty-four until I'm they make their next? basket i believe that's correct so I now think the shot clock will not run is the issue here so they keep stopping play because the shot clock does not start 
It has been an adventure the last couple of minutes here. To no one's fault, I'm sure, but just a bunch of craziness going on here. Seems to be a technical error. It does. We've had a few of those on our yeah, time we, on Saints TV. We know actually, how those You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of when something goes wrong, and you literally just need to restart the computer, which in our case ends the stream and you got to start a new one. There's no way these guys could just turn the clock off and back on because I you lose dare, all the fouls. I dare you to go down there and tell the head referee that, Eric. Why don't you just, have you ever thought about turning it off and turning it back <laughs> no, no, on? No, 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 I'm saying you couldn't do that because. <laughs> I just think it would be funny for someone to walk up to <laughs> Hey, let me just, yeah, just unplug it. Is it plugged in? And offer that sage advice. <laughs> That's easy, guys. Just restart it. That's what we do on That's Saints TV. That's what we TV. do on Saints for TV. Us. All you got to do is ask people for forgiveness. Uh, pretty. Pretty generous folks out there. Another three does not go for Porsche. Capacious comes away with it. So if they make a two-pointer here, they'll leave the, the score the, the same. The score will stay the same. And if they make a three, they add one. They're anticipating. So that. what happens if they don't score the rest of the game and we get 53? Do we win? I believe if we do. The do? Saints TV scoreboard will have it. I've learned my lesson. I'm just going to keep my own scoreboard now. <laughs> See, this is where that OCR scoreboard we're talking it would about be, would not help. It us. Wouldn't, wouldn't help us a bit. We Foul on Joe. Anderson. We need the Joe CR. The Joe, Joe CR, CR scoreboard. Man, I like the sound of that. Well, I hope you do because I patented it in your name, trademarked it. I'm not sure what I did. So they add one point for that three pointer now. It's 55 32. And that score should be accurate, right? As far as we know, we didn't stop to discuss it again after the basket went through, so we seem to be back on page. <laughs> back on page, back on pace. I don't know. No, I'm glitching out. We got one answer from the Winnie family. Long three coming for <laughs> Hicken. Not that close. Goes out of bounds. I think Cruz's foot was on the line. She tried to save it there. Winnie, Winnie. Fa Winnie family say that Duke is an old soul, and I'm going to believe that he knows the answer. Pretty good guess. Cruzy with the rebound on the missed shot. Under six minutes in this one. Saints trail big here, need a run, and need to start now. That three misses everything. Martolo, who could not miss early, cannot make late. There was exactly nobody under the basket to rebound that. Yeah, so from either team. You don't going, see that very often. Going air ball was a favor to the Saints. Didn't have to work to get it back. Anderson finds Porsche inside, and she's fouled. Second foul for the Golden Bears in the fourth. Or Tar. Oh, Abby, Capacious. Abby Capacious called for that one, her second. Porsche for three. Long three. Got oh, there. It. Finally, she gets one to go. She got it. Not shooting like your typical self tonight. Finally gets to roll on that one. Just had to wait till the second half when the rims right. are friendly. Porsche That's has right. five points. What did I do here? Man, the score. I got her now. 55-35 is the score. Oh, what a pass. Could find the Eastman who lays it up and in. Great play by the Golden Bears on that one. She's been somewhat quiet after having 17 in the first half, just four here in the second. But that's still, excuse me, six in the second. So that leads you to 23 points on the night. Porsche's three doesn't go. And she's like a, reminds me, her having the ball on offense reminds me of that time I kept getting mice in my house. Like, just finds the crack on how to squeeze a little way in there <laughs> and just gets in for a layup right by the hoop. Second foul of the Saints. So how First do you, on full. How do you get rid of those mice? I mean, you need to talk to the coach about whatever it was that you, you did gotta to seal make up it stop. those seal up those cracks as best you can. <sighs> and then you gotta leave no food for them to eat. And by that I mean make sure the ball doesn't get to her. Stacia Olish has four made three-pointers. They have two girls with four threes apiece. 
That's 24 points by Mount Mitchell County math. Three points, three and that's three kind points. of been the rock and the hard place for the Saints tonight is do you clamp down inside and stop those, uh, those easier drives around the hoop because there's so much space, you know, right. and the reason there's so much space is because they're nailing all their threes, so you got to step out and guard the threes, and that leaves the inside wide open, and uh, Bishop Garrigan, they've been scoring inside and outside tonight. Anderson picks up her fourth foul. I think I've said it before this season, uh, making baskets cures a lot of ills, and when they're going in, that creates problems for the other team for sure. We've seen it tonight. Bartolo tries again. That one still won't go. Eastman, though, collects the rebound. See right there, Cruzy was out guarding the three-point shot and wasn't down low to rebound like she usually is. Perfect example. Right on time for the, yep. to help the announcers make their point. We appreciate that. Wish it wasn't a point we had to point out. Uh -huh. but. But that, that, that's how they've been so effective tonight offensively, right? That's, yeah. I agree, 100%. And all those second-chance looks right. as a result of that. Right there, they use the offense to set up a one-on-one -on -one situation down low. And Bears ate up a lot of clock on that possession to score those two points. 62-37 is the score. Hickens three doesn't go. Falk gets the rebound, though, and she's fouled. Olish with her third foul. She's played with two fouls for a very long time. Smart, smart, smart basketball player. She's just a sophomore. So for the Golden Bears, they have a sophomore, a freshman, and another sophomore who have 55 of their points tonight. Are you 55 kidding? of their 62 points by wow. my quick Mitchell County math, which as we've displayed all year is stellar. Uh, they're going to be good for a while, gentlemen. I guess is my point. I sure appears so. Have to believe you are correct, sir. Eastman now has 27 on the night. This took me mentioning she had a quiet third quarter. She's taken right off. Bork. Norby have both checked in for the Saints. Jar out there again as well. Let's take that moment to talk about those five senior Saints who appear to be playing their last basketball game in the red and white tonight. Josie Jar, Natalie Bort, Kinsey Anderson, Kaylee Hicken, Aspen Falk. Congratulations, ladies, on a great season. I know this isn't how you wanted to go out. But uh, appreciate, like we said, yeah, basketball is one of those games. You got to put yourself out there, right? You're you're the in a small small area. You're the focus. Everybody's watching you play and watching every move, and and maybe guys like me sitting up here commenting on them. <laughs> so it's a it's not easy to do that. And man, they have they have had a great season. Played really really well have made this first year of Saints TV basketball broadcasting a ton of fun it really have. for Absolutely. us. You have a lot to be proud of. The community is super proud of, of what you've accomplished this year. Congratulations on another great season. Uh, you know, just rinse and repeat, right, with these girls' basketball teams. So let's go win 15 games, and, and just we'll just go out and do it again next year. And, and we've done that uh, again this year. And, uh, man, it's been fun to watch, fun to be a part of. Absolutely. Yeah, it really has, and... It's uh, you know, having seen it of our own this year. You recognize, you know, for these seniors in particular, you know, this is it. And uh, it's they've been part of a successful program that's been really, really well coached. Hats off to the, to the coaches here, Coach Anderson. Hats off, and uh, Coach Cake Rice. Yeah, and it's you kind of take it for granted, but um, they competed for a conference championship this year, and it's not every year that you get to do you that. You get to do that mm -hmm. as a team. So and that takes a, a effort across the board from all your players in basketball. Yeah. Um, Jewel and Urbach check in for the Saints as well, by the way. That's Urbach with it. Her shot doesn't go. Yeah, you know, we, we talked about those six senior boys the other night, and these five senior girls tonight, um, on behalf of Saints TV, to you, 11, again, thank you. Thanks for, for providing that experience. For us and for the community, we, we get to be a small part of it, bringing it to everybody who can't be here. And, man, it's been a fun basketball year. I hate to see it end. 
here tonight, but uh, on to track season. We'll be back as Saints TV. These Saints athletes will be back. Here's the good news. Uh, you know, in the short term, you you get to go compete again. If you're these kids, though, a lot of the same faces you're going to see at that first track meet. Uh, and <laughs> yeah. maybe, maybe I'm not supposed to break it yet, but I'm going to break it. Saints TV will be there for that first track meet at St. Ansker. You're going to get to follow along. Uh, if you can't be there, you're going to get to follow along in some version here on Saints TV for that home track meet to start the season, which is a little over a month away. Yeah, we're excited about that. That'll be that'll be fun. Something new for us. Uh, we've Saints has never offered streaming of uh, track meet. Summer made, by the way. Thanks for chiming in. It's been fun to watch these ladies this season. Thanks for the stream. That's to you guys. It's been a great season for sure. Good pass by Bork finds. J Jar of the shot doesn't go. As Norby and Urbach force a turnover as Jewel. To find a little levity in this situation, guys, we have a Jar, Josie Jar and a Josie Jewel on this court at the same time. They are separate people. We have, we've figured out the, yeah, we the riddle. Sure. We, we weren't, weren't sure. sure. All season, we're like, is, yeah. are they the same? They're never on this court at the same time, but they're both Josie. They're there. So they are different people. They're we can clearly. confirm. It's nice that we can, you know, kind of close, close that close one. this chapter, right? Yeah. yeah, with an answer. This <laughs> this Garrigan team is going to go far, in my opinion, for a long yeah. time. Yeah, they oh, appear <laughs> poised to do so. And the thing is, is they're just repeating how far they've been the last four or five years. Exactly. They've been on this you Think run. about that. If this team makes it to the state tournament, it'll be five in a row. If they make it to the finals, <laughs> that'll be five in a row. That's yeah. that's an incredible run for Dynasty. one school over that length of time where yeah. you clearly aren't doing it with the same girls. Incredible. That's yeah, once you get into five-year territory, then it's like... <laughs> right. You, you've, probably, you've turned all yeah. of those starters over, and you're still yeah. doing it. Yeah. yeah. That's coaching. That's we talk about the youth stuff. The time they spent dribbling a basketball, shooting a basketball. Yep, we'll have a redo here if that doesn't go, but it does. So Tabert gets in the scorebook with a free throw. As this one closes out, there was an earlier reference. If you're just joining us or missed the question, we made the statement that these bears are quick enough and they're smart enough. And dog on it. it, people like them. <laughs> Does Duke know the reference? I don't think I do. Give you one final moment. Oh, we're going to give one more moment to chime in. Well, the Winnie has gave you credit for knowing it. What was it from? SNL. Yep, it's a Saturday Night Live skit. What, what year? Oh, 19... Before you were born, yeah. 88. 80s, yeah. Oh, Okay. Saints drop a tough one here at Bishop Garrigan. 64-41, and that'll bring... The season to a close for Saints basketball. Heck of a season, ladies. Thanks for letting us come along for the ride. Uh, it was a great season, and uh, you know we're, we're happy to uh, have played a small part in it. Uh, hold your heads high. And good luck to the Bishop Garrigan Golden Bears as they pursue yet another state run. Great Plus squad they are. Quality team. Good to see those coaches engage here a little bit. Yeah, Some long discussion blocks. between those two coaches that have yep. uh, have fought. I think the, the Golden Bears have knocked the Saints out of the playoffs three out of the last four years, something <laughs> like know. that. Four out of the I last know we were five. here last year it's, for it. Yeah, yep. so it's two in a row uh, for sure. But a lot of respect between those two coaches. Uh, congratulations again to Coach Caker Rice on getting his 100th of this year. Uh, been fun to watch. Oh, the Saints will close it out. Kinsey Anderson had 14 Aspen Falk had nine. Lindsay Cruzy had ten. Amelia Porsche had five. Josie Jar with a bucket. And Tabert with a free throw. That'll do it for the Saints scoring tonight here in Algona. Well, for those of you who tuned in for basketball season, the boys' season is over. The girls' season is now officially over. We're going to prepare our cameras and gear for a track meet. That, that's going to be fun kind of taking a look at that, don't you think, guys? I mean, that's yeah. going to be very, very different for us. We've got our It'll be a new challenge, which we all like. So. <laughs> yes, we do. So thank you all for being here. Thanks for joining us this season. We're running a few replays here. Any final thoughts here? Duke? Yeah, what was the skit? 
Oh, um, it is. Uh, I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> Duke is like, well, wait a minute. Now I should know that. <laughs> uh, uh, it was. Uh, was it the Minnesota governor? Uh, Stuart Smalley, Daily Affirmation, and it's Al Franken. Is who Al you're Franken. thinking of? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. <laughs> yep, we will watch it in the man van on the way home. I promise. <laughs> uh, yes, so I, we I know will. plenty of SNL. Old I was. SNL that's what I. Th- well, I, I threw it out there because I thought one. you'd know it. I yep. think that's got to be. He was early. He was before the eighties, wasn't it? I'll find when he was on the show. Well, and they re is one of those that was popular enough. Oh, they re ran it a back. lot. Okay. Yeah, like okay. here it's on the Halloween special in in twenty seventeen. Okay. For example, so yeah, yeah. Yep. You'll, you'll I know, I know a lot of SNL skits, not all of them, and I guess I don't know that. We way, figured so. you would, and honestly, at my vote was, oh, he'll know what it is. And uh, when he has agreed that you know, do you think? He, did you think he'd know what it was? I did. That's why I asked because yeah. I thought he'd know it. I was sure he would too. It was funny. I'd in fact, those... I figured he'd know he'd bail me out with the Stuart Smalley that I couldn't pull out of this old brain of mine. I could well, I was going to guess up with Al Franken before he said something. <laughs> Were you so really? I, yeah, I was. Oh man, see, I couldn't even come so, up with a name. I know enough to be dangerous, but not enough to be smart. Well, good to end it on a laugh. Uh, for these girls, we're really proud of your accomplishments, and we're Absolutely. delighted to have been able to be part of it. So, yep, Great season, you. girls. Thanks for watching. Ladies, great season. We'll see you in track season. Bye-bye for now. Adios, muchachos.